All right, so it's just a bit of irony that your boy right here is still alive, survived multiple assassination attempts, right? And behind me is a wall full of people that try to kill people like me, you know what I'm saying? During the war, but I'm also a veteran, you know what I mean? But uh, it's just the irony that I'm still alive, right? And all these dudes are dead, you know what I'm saying? All, all these dudes died fighting Muslims, you see what I'm saying? All of them. And the little secret, they got this here, right here behind the Lincoln Memorial, which is supposed to be talking about slavery, right? But a large portion of uh, the slaves that were here in America were Muslim people. You know what I'm saying? So you better believe after 9-11, the United States began new hostilities or renewed hostilities against our families to return us back to the condition of slavery. You know what I'm saying? And it still has yet to be discussed in here. That's why they just gave you Barack Hussein Obama, who was put in by British intelligence and national... Uh, national uh, security agency the cia you know what i mean freemasonry he was a cousin of uh george hw bush you know what i'm saying so this shit is continuing to go on they got the slavery propaganda up here that slavery is not going on but the american government still has me and my daughter living like slaves out here and all these people died trying to fight muslims you know what i'm saying and the government still will not talk about what they were doing to the muslim slave descendants and the indigenous muslims inside of this country since 9 11 and it still hasn't stopped because they're still attacking me for sovereignty you know what I'm saying? The FBI is still directly attacking me for sovereignty and so is military intelligence. You know what I'm saying? They have not remedied our situation and they're attacking people who are, who are promoting so sovereignty, self-determination and reparations. Those things. And with the reparations, they're kicking propaganda to people saying that um, reparations is not legally mandatory, but it is in 18 United States Code, Chapter 77, Section 1581. You know what I'm saying? It talks about mandatory restitution but restitution is interchangeable with the word reparations you know what i'm saying so reparations is an issue for war crimes and i wonder how many people over here died on this board right here and had my name in the file you know what i'm saying but yet i'm still here you know what i'm saying i'm still here you feel me yeah my jaw's a little messed up my legs a little messed up but your boy's good <laughs> you know what i'm saying and it's just an irony. So I had to show my daughter this so she could see the reality because she's too young to know the war. You know what I'm saying? But her dad is a gangster. It was from the beginning of the war to the end. You know what I'm saying? And this government, no. I translated for Sayyid Hashim Rahmatullahi, the ambassador of the Taliban, before the war started. You know what I'm saying? And I know what the fuck he talked to George Bush about. You know what I'm saying? Before the war started, the whole war was bullshit with a lot of people playing political propaganda on people that didn't know any better. It was a lot of people that were paid actors. You know what I'm saying? That weren't even Muslim. They were people that were spies. You know what I'm saying? to justify what they were doing and like i said they still have never discussed what they were doing to the black indigenous muslims here in this country you know what i'm saying which they won't talk about that there were native muslims like me in this country before white people got here right france knows it the french government knows it you know what i'm saying the french government knows that right but the american government lie about it you know what i'm saying and the muslim slave descendants in this bitch all these people were fucking with us after 9 11 you know what i'm saying this is what happened to our people right here. So me, I'm a, I'm a veteran, you know what I'm saying? But all these people were fighting against the Muslims here in this country and overseas. You know what I'm saying? And it was a lot of black Muslims over here that got killed and they will never mention their names. You know what I'm saying? And it was a lot of black Muslims that were overseas fighting before America started their war and they got sucked up into this shit too. You know what I'm saying? All this propaganda, now with the black Muslims in America, what they say is that they're trying to pump the foreign propaganda of foreign Muslims and foreign Muslim agendas, but they won't talk about our shit. You know what I'm saying? They won't talk about the Muslims from here. So now any of us get caught up in any political thing, they start talking about Al-Qaeda and all this stuff that we're not even a part of. But we've been political for a long time, and the Muslims in this country are deep. You know what I'm saying? You want to know about Muslims in America? All you have to do is go look up Frederick Douglass. Frederick Douglass grandfather was a Sayyid Muslim from Sapello Island, Georgia, named Sali Balali or Balali Muhammad. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of Muslims that were in this country, you know what I'm saying? But we've been persecuted for a long time. A lot of people are now Christian. They think that they're something else, but their bloodline is Muslim. And most of us are native and African people mixed. You see what I'm saying? But I'm proud to sit here today. I don't really celebrate none of these holidays, but I'm bringing my kid out here so they can see what's cracking in this country. You know what I'm saying? But I'm proud. You know what I'm saying? Your boy's still alive. And a lot of people tried to kill me during the war, and I'm still here, G. And a lot of these motherfuckers are dead. You know what I'm saying? 
You know what I mean? Straight up. And I know one of them on the board is probably an LAPD cop that used to fuck with me in high school. I remember he got killed in Afghanistan right off. You know what I'm saying? I joined the military. Your boy's still here, though. You feel me? So, you know, this is all propaganda. The Lincoln Memorial right here about slaves and then right here, the war after 9-11. You know what I'm saying? Which returned a lot of the Muslim slave descendants and indigenous Muslims back to condition of slavery. And the government still does not want to deal with it. Even with this reparations talk, there's no organization out here that is dealing with our issues, trying to push our sovereignty and trying to correct the human rights violations and war crimes that have happened to us over the last 20 plus years, G. It's been a lot of war crimes happened to the slave descendants in this country and the indigenous Muslims, man, over the last two plus decades. So I'm out. I'm not going to waste my battery, man. I'm going to post this on the internet soon. The rapper K Real, aka Muhammad Khalil bin Abdullah, United States Coast Guard veteran, disabled, but fuck the United States military, you know what I'm saying? A member of uh, Iraq Veterans Against the War, you know what I'm saying? Mentored by VVAW, Vietnam Veterans Against the War, you know what I mean? Usually, if I was in San Francisco this weekend, I'd be marching with VFP Vets for Peace, but people know I'm not a pacifist. I'm definitely about that active warfare against my enemies, you know what I'm saying? And I, you know, Anybody wants smoke, FBI, anybody still wants smoke, I still, blah, you know what I'm saying? It is what it is. We're not scared, bro. All that shit you guys did to try to scare me away from asserting sovereignty and self-determination, it's, it's, it's like dust. You know what I'm saying? Now the last 20 years plus of your war is like dust. It's just, you know what I mean? Just this right here behind me. Names of people who passed away trying to kill and suppress Islam. You know what I'm saying? And the sad thing is not all these people hated Muslims, but they were forced to do stuff. And so a lot of these people were also white supremacists who were down with the slavery corporation that was created by the British royal family called the United States of America. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, again, indigene. Yeah, yeah, again, indigene. You know what I'm saying? Mo indigene or zinjian. A melange African. You know what I'm saying? Du musliman. You know what I'm saying? Le rouge indien. You know what I'm saying? We right here, G.